Hey YouTube! So I I apologize for the bad lighting. I don't have this light on, but actually it doesn't look as bad as it sometimes does. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is rather than screw around and have like half my face completely lit up. Alright, so today what I want to talk about is first off, happy late April Fools to all of you. Um let me know if any of you guys were pranked. Some I really didn't get pranked. Um one of the teachers in my school handed out like fake progress reports so kids who were supposed to have like or kids who were supposed to have like 97's got like 23's and like kids who'd never been to the class before had like 120's and I don't know that was his way of doing a prank then he handed out real progress reports but um I really wasn't pranked today, um, or if I did, they were really sucky pranks because I didn't notice. But something I do need to talk about, so let me know about what you, if you got pranked, what you think of April Fool's Day. Let me know. Alright, something else is, this week, I am now on break. Yay, I've been in need of a holiday for so long. Um, so some, one thing I am going to do this week is I need to empty out my bedroom and paint it and then put all my stuff back in hopefully more organized than it is right now because right now there's stuff everywhere so but one thing that i need your guys advice on is i have something to the alc of 120 magazines because basically like from over the years i've had subscriptions in so many different um magazines like i don't know when i was younger I had subscriptions to National Geographic Kids, to Disney Adventures, those, ma those like, they were about this big, they were tiny magazines, um, so I still have a bunch of those, um, I just got them out of my bedroom, I'm like, what is all this stuff? I have Magic School Bus magazines, like, five years worth of Magic School Bus magazines, but some... But, so those things I think I'm just either going to get rid of or ask kids if they want to read them. Um, but something I am confused about is I have three years of Dance Spirit magazines. And I've got years worth of Seventeen magazine and um, Cosmo Girl. Um, I think I've got about a year's worth of Cosmo. So what I'm wondering to you, from you guys is what is your suggestion? You suggest I either do you suggest I keep the magazines as they are? Um I was thinking of cutting out picture uh, cutting out like the pictures from the magazines and like putting them up like making like, a collage of them or whatever. But then I'm like that's actually kind of weird to just have pictures of random dancers on your wall. Um like I don't know. I'm not they're not like celebrities I like, I just, I don't know. So anyways, let me know what you think. Should I cut out the articles that I like? Should I, um, like just keep parts of them? Should I keep the magazines whole? Because right now they're just everywhere in my bedroom and I need to figure out what I'm doing. So. Any suggestions on what to do with magazines, let me know, because I have so many. This is like only a couple, and there's like 50 times as many in there. Okay, so um, other things, um, on Saturday, it's, well, it's um, Thursday today, um, tomorrow's Good Friday, um, I'm hoping to be able to just about empty my room. On Saturday, my brothers are coming home, yay! They're only going to be here for a day, but I'm hoping to be able to have some conversations with them, to play some music, to possibly play a game, or eat some food or something. Just because I haven't really spent quality time with them since, well, I don't know, Kate, because we went on a holiday in February, but that was sort of big family argument type thing. And when they came home from Christmas, we were only really home for a day and everyone was yelling at each other, so... I'm hoping to just be able to spend time with my brothers, so... I'm so excited, because... Yeah, I just am. Alright, so... I also
also, I got my tap costume today. That's two down, only one left to come in. And hoping it's either in in one of the huge boxes of costumes in the studio, and we just haven't found it yet, which is possible. Or it hasn't come in and it's in the next box that'll come in. Which I'm hoping comes in soon. Alright. So anyways, I love you all. I hope you all have... Oh, I have to show you these first. Sorry. I don't talk about this very much, but I am a Sunday school teacher. I love teaching Sunday school. What I did was I got my kids each like an Easter basket. They're all sort of different. Inside, the like, thing is I love Easter. So I've got, these are my favorite. Here. So it's got a little plastic egg. You open it up and it's like, chip, 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 chip. I totally made those. I found little chicks and I put them inside eggs. I was really proud of myself. There's also, got them some mini eggs. Mini eggs in an egg, yeah. And this one's full of jacks. I don't know if little kids know how to play jacks, but whatever. And they've got chocolate bunnies and eggs. Skipping rope. I'm going to put mini eggs, like, in the basket. So, that's what I did. I was having so much fun walking around Walmart, like I had, I had baskets everywhere, my boyfriend with me, he's like, so I'm going to go get a card, and you try not to like, spend your entire college fund on chocolate. And I'm like, okay honey, yeah. So anyways, I was having so much fun, it was an amazing time. Alright, anyways, I'm going to let you all go. Um... I haven't decided whether I'm going to church at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning or not. Uh, it's already 1 o'clock in the morning, so we will think about that. So. But anyways, hearts, hearts, and I will see you all on the flip side.